I wish all grocery stores had a parking deck because it's so inconvenient walking in the rain. Like, the wind is blowing, the rain is pouring. Okay, so we first get in here, we got some grapes. Grapes are high in sugar, so I skipped past those, but those are a good price. I did pick up some green beans in this bag. Um, As far as cooking them, girl, that was a hassle. I, I mean, my grandma taught me how to cut the ends off, but it was a wrap. Artichokes, I do not like cucumber at all. Which I know I do love Brussels sprouts. So I know I said I wasn't getting meat from here because it's expensive. But I drove past the chicken thighs and was like, let me grab these. They were only like $3.22, which is really good. Um, chicken thighs are the easiest for me to eat and the easiest for me to cook because they stay moist. I don't have to worry about um, them drying out. So this was a win. Since I had such a win with the chicken, I was like, let me see what the seafood is hitting on. And as you can see, it was not hitting on much. Um, tilapia, which is my favorite kind of fish, even though people say it's man-made, girl, whatever. I did, I was interested in these shrimp, but then when I saw what they were, I was like, nah, I'm going to leave them where they at because that means somebody put them back. Now, the next thing, I went into the wine owl. Y'all know I'm a wine expert. Do not, you know, give me, give me me. Um, but this wine was entirely too expensive. I've become accustomed to paying for um the cheaper things it all does the same thing but you know if you want to have cute little bottles this is a place to get them from next the spaghetti squash um i did not know that these things were this big i also did not know that pumpkins were squash these things are completely new to me i'm not a pumpkin kind of girl um so i did grab that first spaghetti squash that i saw so the next thing up is persimmons. This is my first time ever seeing these. I don't see these in a regular people grocery store, okay? They look like tomatoes, but when I looked it up online, it said it's a fruit um, that's really sweet, but we're gonna try it. The next things are these keto waffles from Bender's. I've purchased the pancake kind that you have to make yourself, but I'm curious to see how these waffles are gonna turn out. I do not like chocolate chip waffles, so I just got the regular kind. So I'm done in sprouts. Um, as you can see, they have a lot of good stuff in there. Girl, where is my hand sanitizer? Oh, no, ma'am. As you can see, they have a lot of good stuff in Sprouts. Um, you just have to really pay attention to what you're getting because um, the stuff can add up quickly, you know, if you know what I'm saying. I am not a tycoon by anybody's standards. Girl, where is my hand sanitizer? had to press forward press forward alicia press forward um but yeah i'm not a tycoon by anybody's book um so i'm not about to be paying nine ten dollars for ground beef when i can get the size that i need for me and my household which it consists of me um for two or three dollars four five dollars um i spent fifteen dollars in there on five things 
side note, I did not know that pumpkin was a squash. I don't know what I thought pumpkin was. I really just thought pumpkin was its own thing, if y'all know what I'm saying. You know how, like, you got squash, you got zucchini. I thought it was, like, zucchini, squash, pumpkin. But then I found out that zucchini... It's a lot of stuff they should teach you in school that they really don't. But we know how to bounce a checkbook. And I haven't written a check yet. So anyways, now I'm done ranting. I think. Oh, the only thing I got from Hope from Sprouts was, like I said, the keto, the keto waffles, the persimmons. I'm going to try those when we get home. Some green beans and the spaghetti squash and the chicken thighs because they were only $3.22. But you really can't. You, I mean, that's, that's kind of good. And then I, they didn't look bad. I don't like chicken that looks bad. Like those shrimp that I showed y'all, I don't play about getting stuff that people put back. If you put it back, at least make it look like you didn't put it back and maybe I'll buy it. But if you put it back and it look like you put it back because you put it in the wrong spot, I don't, I don't fool with it. Um, so now we are trekking to Walmart to get more um, meat. It was something else I needed to get from. Oh, okay. It was something else I needed to get from Walmart. I cannot remember. I am so glad. Look, I don't know how they did Walmart in y'all's neighborhood, but in my neighborhood, three of the Walmarts had these like little fair cages you had to walk around. I'm so glad it took those down. So the first thing is the slim pickings. This is supposed to be like the ground beef area. I did not buy those tubes, no. Give me the stuff that I can see. I normally end up getting those smaller packs right there at the bottom. Um, but as you can see, it's very slim. I do not like shopping when it's stuff like this because I feel like people have picked over it. So, I don't know. Maybe we we'll have to find some ground beef somewhere else. Now for the breakfast sausage, I like to get the, um, I think it's the Tennessee Pride, yeah. But I'd like to go a little bit underneath. I only like the brown eggs. They taste different. Do not judge me. So I'm going to get these because I can see them from the outside. If y'all like sugar-free stuff, this is a good alternative to Kool-Aid um, without all the sugar. The strawberry orange banana is busting. I cannot account for the other flavors, but this one is good. And if you get the Walmart brand, it's like a dollar less than the Crystal Light brand. So, But it's the same taste up some of my favorite mrs maya's dish soap the honeysuckle scent it smells so good um this is my favorite i don't know why it just is we are now pulling up on the olive oil now this is what i mean by more bang for your buck in sprouts they had that little bitty bottle of olive oil for like six dollars granted it may have been organic and blah 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 but i would much rather pay seven dollars for more olive oil um extra virgin of course but yeah no i ended up going with um this one that was in the bottle because it was prettier don't judge me i got some sugar-free syrup for my um keto waffles this syrup is it tastes the same as regular syrup just a little more water do y'all remember, remember how much money i said i was gonna spend it again with i think i said 40 dollars. so i spent 45 dollars alone in walmart and then i spent $15 in sprouts, which equals up to my math ain't the best, but I'm thinking it's $65. Help me. But in Walmart, I got, I ended up impulse buying. It wasn't really an impulse buy. I needed a broom. Um, I used my other broom until it broke. And I, I was so just not wanting to buy another one. Um, I was just using the broke part of the broom. So today I'm going to become a grown woman and use a regular broom again um so i got a broom i got the foil like i needed i got two um of those strawberry um little things you put in the water those things i'm telling you if you drink kool-aid which if i was drinking sugar i wouldn't drink kool-aid because of how much sugar is in it but it's a good alternative to kool-aid especially with me not eating sugar period unless it's a cheat day it, it it's like a it's, it's a kool-aid dupe with no very less sugar i got some something about some dish i'm guessing that's the um things for the dishwasher which i just learned how to use my dishwasher oh no the things for the dishwasher was 6.94 oh the 
the MMC dish. That's the dishwashing liquid, girl. Four dollars for dish liquid? I really like that dish liquid though, so that's why I buy it. Um, the Cascade dishwasher thing, so seven dollars, seven. Um, I got some ground, two things of ground beef, some sausage patties to go with my keto waffles, and I only eat the brown eggs, so I got the brown eggs. Um, I think they be charging me for other stuff. But then again, Alicia, no, they didn't because you scanned your own stuff. 93 grade. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. I don't know what that is. That might be ground turkey. Okay, I think that's ground turkey. I got a little flat steak. It was like $2. I just eat that with some green beans and something else. Um, and then that, that's pretty much it. Some olive oil, the fancy kind, and some sugar-free syrup i'm done grocery shopping for a while i'm lying but i'm saying it stern like this to make it sound believable um i hope that you all believe me so that you can hold me accountable when i try to go grocery shopping again because so now i'll go home my friend from high school is having her um birthday dinner today in the middle of a pandemic a pandemic so I need to go home. I need to actually, I blew my hair out yesterday. We're just gonna go ahead and do the ponytail so we can go and drop off this card and gift and come back home because like I said, we're in a pandemic. I understand, I understand, I, un I understand. I understand, I understand, I do. Everybody calm down because I understand. However, however, into cold and flu season and um it's you know take y'all some echinacea get y'all some echinacea get y'all some um ginger some turmeric take out some cod liver oil pills some castor oil get your insides all lubricated so that stuff can just slide on out you know what i'm saying that's all i'm gonna say about that so we have made it back home the groceries are put up we are now about to dive into doing this ponytail my hair is already blown out um, I used the Revlon, I think it's like a two-in-one blow dryer brush combo thing. Um, so I'm really just going to comb my hair out to get all the kinks out, if that's even possible. I trimmed my ends, but as you can see in this video, were they really ever trimmed? At this point, I'm just about to use that thing again. That, that's what it is, the Revlon two-in-one. It's a brush and a blow dryer. Um, just to get any extra kinks out and, and make my hair a little bit more. My hair don't really act like unless heat or water is on it. Um, so whatever I need to do, I need to do it while it's either hot or while it's got some water on it. Have no fear, the heat protectant is here. I used the Chi um, Iron 44 Guard to do that um, because, yeah, I don't need damaged hair. So now I'm just trying to figure out where my part goes by using a rat tail comb. I normally like a middle part when I wear ponytails, um, but seeing the dilemma that I'm having with my edges, I didn't think that was a good idea, but actually looking at it now, it doesn't look so bad. The hardest part about doing the middle part is making sure um, it's even on both sides. And then I don't like to do my middle part right in the middle of my head. I like to do it a little bit off center because my face is not symmetrical. Looking at this now, this would have been the better option, but me, no, Alicia, give it a side part. So I decided to do a side part um, and actually kind of comb my hair with this right tail comb. Was I drunk? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so I ended up doing a, a side part um, with like a little curve in the back. Now the thing about the side parts are still getting your hair to be even because the swoop will be fine and the side will be fine but when you get to that back part trying to lay down the hair that's in the back that's the part I struggle with the most so I really don't know what made me go with this maybe it was just the fact that my hair was blown out I don't know it had to be the excitement so at this part I have decided um, that I'm about to gel my hair down I like to section my hair because it is so thick it takes a lot for the gel to even like I have to use a lot of gel for my hair to you see how thick my hair is okay so I, I don't need to say any more when it comes to that so I like to section my hair off using these um, twist ties I like to section it into 
two parts well really three i like to do the back of my hair first get it out get that gathered into one ponytail and then do the swoop part so now that that section off we are about to begin gelling i use the castor oil um eco styler gel i start with my edges and the thinner part of my hair which is right there at the front due to those dang braids well actually due to me um, I like to get a good amount of gel on the outside and then make like a part with my finger and then put gel in the inside because my hair will not, it'll, it'll look bulky if I don't do it that way. Once I feel like I've gotten enough gel um, for it to lay down, as you can see, I go ahead and brush it with this hard brush. This is a hard brush, y'all. And I go ahead and put it into um, the bottom ponytail that I'm going to use. I try to go ahead and give a rough draft for my for my edges or um, the things that are remaining that I would like to call edges. And I go ahead and get the ponytail positioned the way I want it to be. At this point, I loop the loop with my smaller scrunchie. Do not do this too tight because your head is going to hurt, okay? Take it from me. Just do it enough to where it holds it in place, um, but it's not uncomfortable for you because you will have a tension headache, and that's not any fun. So now we're going to go into the swoop. We're going to split that front part into two sections, and we're going to go ahead and um, band the top section off because that's the last section. That's the section we need to lay really, really flat um, because the ponytail will make up for any lumps in the back of the hair, but the front is the, is the, front, is the front. It's the front. You got to do it. It's the front. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down this first side piece um, and make sure it's really flat. Now the reason you don't want your twist ties too tight is because as you can see, I'm adding another one to hold that um, front side down. So the more you put on there, the tighter it's gonna be naturally. So just don't make any of them too tight to begin with because then you have to start over because your head's hurting. Now we are gonna dive into this top part um, this is the easiest part a, a little bit. It's, it, it, it's, this is the easiest part because you're almost done. Once we get that all gel down and laid down, we make sure all the kinks are out. Like I said, we smooth it down. And we are going to go in with one last twist tie. Um, these aren't the smallest they come in because, of course, my hair is thick. But these are a smaller version than those big ones that I normally use um, to do my puffs or anything else with. Make sure it's secure, make sure everything is laid down. Look how you want it to look. Of course you take a deep breath because by now your arms are tired, they're flailing. So now we're done. On my edges I like to use the Got To Be Styling Gel. It's in like a blue tube and I like to use a spoolie. Um, I am not by anybody's standard a master edge layer. So this is me looking for the spoolie like a dum dum found it um i like to put this on the parts of my hair that may be flying away and then on my edges because it just seals the edges in um when i put this stuff on my hair and put that scarf on there i don't have to come back and do anything for at least a day or two like once i set this and then set under the dryer oh okay you're gonna see So now that we are done laying the edges, we're going to go in with one final twist tie. Do not ask me how many ties are on my hair because I have lost count at this point in time. I go ahead and put my hair in a bun because I'm going to put my scarf on and I'm going to sit underneath the bonnet dryer. So we are back. As you can see, the got to be did my edges good, girl. So this is the ponytail. Like I said, it's a drawstring ponytail. This looks a lot different on the inside than the ones I'm used to, but I'm guessing that this is going to make it, I don't know, we're going to see. I've never seen one like this, um, but for those of y'all wanting to know, this is the card. It's equal drawstring ponytail and curl up number two. Normally, I'm a number four kind of girl, but they didn't have it. The only colors they have in this ponytail is one, one B2, T27, T30, T350, and T530 which I didn't want any of those. And even though my hair is dark brown, I feel like I can get away um, a lot more with the um, black ponytail or, you know, just a 
I guess this would be all flat. I don't know. I just know it's not a four. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a shower. Um, and I'm going to let this sit in here while the steam is up. And we're going to see. We're going to clip it on. And we're going to get ready to go. All right. So by this point in time, the makeup is on, the face is on, the eyebrows are on, the shower is taken. I'm about to try to apply this ponytail. Let me go ahead and tell you. It was an epic fail. Either my hair is too thick for this or the company should be at fault for, for what? I mean, why would they make, why would they do that? It's literally nowhere for your hair to go. As you're going to see in a few seconds, I thought I had it clipped on securely, um, but I was sadly mistaken. As soon as I put the clamp in the top of my bun and then tried to put it at the bottom of the bun the top one was coming off or if i tried to put it at the bottom then try to put it at the top the bottom was coming off either my bun was too big or this ponytail thing was too small i'm going to go with the second option so now you see me trying to work with it trying to maneuver it, it's just not working for me and i'm about to give up so now i'm going to try to drawstring because i think that it's on there secure and okay okay we on there we got it on there okay oh no no we don't mm, what a sad thing so this is me looking crazy trying to figure out alicia what are you doing wrong are you really even doing anything wrong were these people wrong for making this ponytail to begin with i'm gonna go with that they were wrong for making this to begin with the thing is so if you have thick hair i don't recommend this ponytail because even when i did wear it it didn't feel secure it didn't feel secure enough um if you have any suggestions on how i could put this ponytail in to make it do what it's supposed to do and not feel like it's gonna bounce off my head by all means let me know in the comments so after 30 tries and praying for 20 days fasting and all of that good stuff the ponytail decided that it still wasn't gonna stick um, so this is the last time I tried it and I think I was fed up with it at this point. So it was just like, okay, let's do it now. Um, so this is when it actually did stick on my hair. But as you can see, I was still scared it was going to bounce off. I was pulling it. It wasn't moving, but I was not pulling it hard. Um, so yeah, I was ready to go drop off that gift. Um, so yeah, need my shirt to stay closed. I like this ponytail a little, maybe not a lot, maybe not as much as I could. But it was doing what I needed it to do for the little bit of time I needed it, I needed it to do it. So this is a brand new day. <laughs> um, today is Monday. I was off of work. I vlogged Friday and Saturday. Today is Monday, so it still count, counts as my weekend. Let me turn this off. So the ponytail. Let's get into the. Are there really any pros of of this ponytail? It's an easy hairstyle, and I'm going to put an asterisk by easy because, first of all, it's hard to put on if you have thick hair. With that little bitty thin strap with the um, clips in it that you clip in your hair, it's on a thin strap. My, If I'm wearing a ball underneath it, it's not covering the ball. It's not, I have to put it to the side of where my hair bulks at, the side of, the side of this thing, like over here which makes it less secure. I was walking around in Walmart today and I felt it bouncing a little too much. And I was like, Alicia, stop your bouncing before it bounces off. Um, right now, maybe because it's still new, it's giving me Diana Ross vibes, like Supremes, um, 1960s, 70s. So maybe when I put some, you know, leave it in the shower, let the humidity hit it, let it dry. So it won't just look, you know, older, sometimes synthetic hair, the older it looks right before it gets stale that's when it looks the best but right now this is just too it's too much um but not enough at the same time um i if you have um thinner hair or less dense hair than i have then by all means or if you can get a better foundation this is a rush job not really but my hair when it groups together for the ponytail it's, it's not i don't have thin hair you know i might not have a lot of it but it's, it's not thin by any means. So, um, as far as the review on the ponytail, I mean, was it worth, four, what was it, 13, 12, between 12 and $14? I'm gonna play with it and see if we can make it work. But as of right now, it's not working for me. It's not, it's not working for me. Um, but any other announcements I got for y'all before I close out this, the longest vlog I ever did? 
no i have more than one of these shirts so do not get on here judging me saying you wore that same shirt all weekend no and even if i did i have a washing machine and i probably washed it i did wash it but this is a different one it's, it's the same shirt just a different size and a different shirt altogether. same color same kind of shirt same alabama i live in alabama i wear alabama shirts all the time um what else what else what else um so now i'll go home and i'll try to figure out what if i can make it do what it do but until next time um y'all stay safe out there and i will see you when i see you